हाय गाइस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व टग ऑफ वॉर प्रॉब्लम ओके सो बेसिकली दिस प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम वी आर हैविंग अ एरे लेट्स से द नंबर्स प्रेजेंट इन एरेज 1 2 3 4 5 एंड 6 दिस इज द एरे प्रोवाइडेड टू अस एंड व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू डिवाइड दिस एरे इनटू टू सेट्स ओके फर्स्ट पॉइंट वी हैव टू डिवाइड दिस एरे इनटू टू सेट्स ओके दैट्स गुड सो लेट्स से दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट सेट दिस इज आवर सेकंड सेट वी हैव टू डिवाइड दिस एरे ना So I divided this into one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So our first task is to divide, but our second task, second task, we have to divide this uh, array in two in two sets in such a way that both the set should contain equal number of values, equal number of values. So this is wrong. We got that this is wrong. Why? Because this is not equal. So in that case, what I will do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I divided it. But I, I, uh, uh, let's say two equal sides. Okay. But I got a problem. One, two, three, four, five. This is the size of my array. Let's say this is my array. So in this case, how can I divide this array into two sets with equal size? Because either I can do this, or I can do this. Okay. This is the maximum case. So this is what we have to do. This is what this is applicable. This is right. This is right. In our case. The size can be changed. The size can be changed, but at most, at most, the difference of size should be one. At most, okay. The at most difference should be one. So in that case, three minus two, one applicable. Two minus three, one applicable. Two minus three basically one. Okay, difference. Okay. Now, so we have discussed the second point also. Now third point. Third point. So there are so many cases in which the size of first set and second set is can be same. So third case. third case is saying i have to print i have to print that case i have to print that case in which in which a uh, sum of set 1 minus sum of set 2 is minimum what i written i am writing here that uh, it doesn't matter whether it is negative or positive so what we will do we will take math dot abs Okay, whatever value we are creating, we will take math dot abs. Basically, it changes negative value into positive value. Okay, so what we have to do? Basically, we have to check whether the sum of set one minus sum of set two is minimum or not. We have to print the case in which the sum is minimum. Okay, so understood now. We are having three conditions. We are having. We have to divide this array into two sets. Okay, now two sets should have equal size in case of e one. and uh, length plus 1 basically uh, the difference of size can be at most one okay so we have seen the second case also third case is saying that we have to print that case in which the difference the absolute difference between set 1 and set 2 is minimum so understood the question now how we are going to do this basically if you think that uh, yeah we have to create two set so two sets are provided in the question first task is done second task that we have to create two equal size so two equal size represent that a uh, size of set 1 size of set 1 can be at most can be at most uh, array dot length by 2 understood na basically we have to create two set so the set, the size of set 1 can be this these three so the size of set 1 can be three because we are having six elements so 3 3 So three can be our size. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, in case of odd, in case of odd, what can be the size of set one? Array dot length plus one by two. by. Two. Why? Let's say we are having this array one two three four and five. Okay, we are having this array. Uh, the size, the length of array is five. Length is five. Okay. Then the size of set one can be the size of set one can be length plus one. That is. Six, six by two, three. Yeah, size can be three. Okay, so these three elements can be put into set one. Same for set two. For same for set two, if I am putting three elements here, then the set two will contain two values. If I am putting two values here, then set two will contain three values. Okay, this will be handled. Okay, now how I am going to solve this question? Basically, very easy problem. I am going to generate all the possible pairs. I am going to generate all the possible pairs and the pair. in which the difference is minimum i am going to print that so let's see 
uh, I have created two sets. This is set one. Remove this. Two set dash dash. These are two sets. Okay. I am having one, two, three, and four. These are the elements in the array. So I am talking about this this element one. So I have, I am having two choices. Either I can put one into set one and set two. So if I if I decided to put into set one one dash else dash one. Okay, we got it. Okay. Now let's talk talk about two. So again two choices either in first set or second set. So one two dash uh, in this and one two. Okay. In this case two one and dash one two. Understood. Okay. Now again uh, now I'm talking about three. So three is having two choices set one set two. But it will check that the size of set one is two. Size of set one is two and array dot length by two. This is also equal to two. So I cannot put any elements more. I cannot put. So I cannot put two here, uh, three here. So what I am having only one choice: one, two, and three. In this case, one, two. So I can put there are two choices: one, three, two, and one, two, three. Okay. Now for this case, again I am having two choices: two, three, and one. The two, one, three. Okay. For this one, I cannot put. Three in the set two because the size of set two is two. So what is my one only choice? Three, one, two. Okay. Now I'm talking about four. So let's talk about four. Basically, I remove this. Okay. So four. I cannot put four into set one. So one, two, three, four. In this one, three, two, four. In this one, four, two, three. In this two, three, one, four, two, four, one, three, three, four. One. Now all we have to do is we have to find this sum, this sum, and we have to check the difference. This sum, this sum, and find the difference. And we have we will do this process for all of the sets. Now whenever we got the minimum, the minimum among them, we have to print that. Understood? So this is what we have to do. Very easy program. Okay. Basically, so we are provided with two array lists, set one, set two, and we are having two integers also. Which will represent the sum of set one and set two. Okay, so let's write here. Basically, when I'm going to add element in set one, if the size if set one dot size is less than is less than array dot length array dot length plus one by two. I will explain why I am doing plus one to handle odd cases to handle odd cases because if I am going to if I if I will write let's say one two Three four, so array dot length by two, which is four by two, so two. Okay, this is acceptable. But what about one two three four five? So in that case, the size is five. Five by two is two. So again, this is going to be handled by both the cases. Okay, so array dot length plus one by two will handle both the cases odd and even. So if this condition is true, in that in that case, what we have got to do, basically, I have to write here. That I am going to add that element into set one. So very easy. So set one dot add. Uh, what what is my element array of v i d x? So v i d x represent that for which in for which number I am talking about. So I pushed that element into my array list. Now I have to increase the sum set plus equals to array of v i d x. Okay. After that I will call for array and v i d x plus one. Basically, what I am doing, I uh, I have put this number into set one. Now I will talk about the rest of the numbers. Very easy. So set one, set two, sum of set one and sum of set two. Very easy. Okay. Now after backtracking, just reduce, just make all the values normal. So sum of set one minus equals to array of v i d x and set one dot remove set one dot size minus one. Because I added the value to the last of that one, now I am going to remove the last value of that one. Very easy, and the same work, same work for set two also. Exactly same work, just change the values of set one to set two. Okay, rest of the code is very same. So paste it here. Set two one here, set one. So set two, and then we have to check whether the size. Ah, uh, basically, firstly we have to add that element to set two. Increase the value of set two. After that, just pass this. Then just reduce the value of sum of set. 
than this okay exactly same now when we will hit the base case when we are going to hit the base case when i have put it all the balls into set so if vi dx equals to array dot length in this case i have put it all the balls into my into oh no 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 i have covered i have traversed my whole array this vi dx represent that i have traversed the whole array okay in this case what i have to do i have to find the uh, absolute value i have to find the absolute difference between set 1 and set 2 so int let's take difference math dot abs sum of set 1 minus sum of set 2 okay now i will check this value from this difference because every pair is going to return me some minimum value i have to find the minimum of that minimum value i have to find the minimum value the minimum from all the pairs so if difference is lesser than minimum difference if this condition is true that means i have to change the minimum difference value to my difference value and change our string value answer should be equal to answer equals to set one plus some space plus set two. in this format we have to print okay after that just return just return okay so this is the whole code basically we are making pairs and okay we are having runtime error i mean which line uh, 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 yeah in 44 let's check okay 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 set to set two dot size okay so let's do it yeah now the code is accepted so basically what we are doing we are making pairs whenever i got the set one size which is equal to 2, let's say for 2, then I will not put uh, the forward numbers into that set, I will put those numbers into the set 2, okay. So, this is what I am doing, I am putting equal numbers, I am generating all the cases, I am finding the difference, now I am checking whether the minimum difference which I am having is greater than my difference, if my difference is lesser than the minimum previous value, then I will uh, update that previous value and I will update the answer also. So this is all about this problem. I hope you guys understood. We will meet in the next video. Till then, bye.